welcome to MonroeMotors.com. Here we have a 1965 Chevy Deuce Nova uh, two-door hardtop. Cool car, complete rebuild, body off, new, new suspension, just unbelievable. Have a look in the trunk, all clean and tidy, speckled paint, battery box in the back, nice little uh, fire extinguisher there. If you look closely there, you'll see that there was a panel cut into the side. So that's welded right in a complete panel. The trunk looks fabulous, closes nice and tight as you see there. So a good looking machine. Have a look at it from the back there. That's a great toy. So over here we've got great joy. We have bucket seats, brand new interior, uh, nice carpeting, uh, beautiful floor shifter in the back seat, all nice and tidy, looking beautiful. Headliner looks great. Nice car. Door panels are in great shape, as you see, and closes solidly. Good car. Really decent fit for that age. The glass is all brand new, and it's all deep tinted. So it's, a, it's not added tinted, it's factory tinted. So good looking glass on this car. It really adds to the look. 17-inch um, front rims. Uh, have a look in the engine bay here. We've got a 383 stroker. Nice uh, ported heads on it. It's pushing out 350, actually 348 foot-pounds of torque to the rear wheels. So a little over 300 horsepower, which translates to about a little over 400, maybe 450 uh, at the flywheel. So it's got a Holley 750 carb on it. You could put an 850 and push a little more horsepower out of it if you'd like. Um, the rad's aluminum rad, all brand new. Nice little transmission cooler in there. Can you see that? Yeah, there's the tranny cooler. Beautiful heads, a brand new rack on it for steering. Uh, Willwood brake system right there. Um, and again, this is uh, the front end. It's just a bolt-on front end, so it's just awesome the way that fits. The hood is a um, aftermarket with a cowl on it to fit that uh, breather in and that big carburetor, so that's why that's there. Fit that and it looks great, doesn't it? So climb with me under here and have a look. You'll see the front suspension and the engine from down below. Have a look there and see that the suspension is completely adjustable. So four coils uh, that are adjustable. You can raise it, lower it, do whatever you want, have some fun. Nice looking steering rack. And to drive this car is a real dream with that suspension because it drives just like a brand new car. Um, not like an old car, that's what I would like to say. So have a look at the Willwood brakes there, the 17 inch rims, the tires are awesome. This car just floats down the road and it's got power to burn. Just crazy how it drives. So nice looking back wheels. Um, the door panels again are in great shape. You'll see here the bucket seats, which are awesome. It's got a tilt steering wheel with a steering, chromed up steering column. And let's climb in and fire this one up, shall we? The gauges are all uh, brand new. So, you know, gas gauge works and heat gauge, all that stuff works on it. Over here, we've got a tachometer. And up here, we've got the radio, nice glove box, and your shifter. So, nice car, let's fire it up.
So I just want to turn it off. It sounds great though, doesn't it? I wanted to turn it off so I can just walk around and show you a few of the flaws so that if you're a long way away, you'll know what you're getting when you get it home. Uh, the trunk lid, when they sprayed the trunk lid, uh, not quite a perfect uh, flow of metallic as you can see there. It does not stand out, I will tell you when you're, dry, when you're looking at the car, just walking up to it, but if I point it out to you, you'll see it. That's why I want to do that right now. Um, over here, the door, this passenger door is a pretty good fit. It closes nicely, but you'll see the chrome is off just a tad. Really not unusual for a car like this, but I want to point it out to you. Um, good looking machine. When you look at the front, you'll see that the hood, which is an aftermarket cowl hood, um, it fits really quite well, but you'll see that it's not perfect in those seams, but it's a 65, it wouldn't have been perfect brand new. So overall, really a good fit. Um, the metallic paint, when you look at it from up above, you'll see a little bit of modeling there. It's not perfect in the spray, but gosh, you know, you're not, not gonna stand out to you unless I point it out. Uh, a little chip down here on the door, I guess, when they were adjusting the door. A little bit of chip there, but it's all good, no worries. Um, anything else? Hmm. I think that's pretty much it. You'll see that the chrome is really in outstanding condition. If I get really picky, you can see there's a little dent in that uh, particular piece. But really, overall, here's a little dent in that piece there. Overall, really, though, outstanding. You can see that the rubbers are not painted, so that's good news. The windshield was installed after the paint. Good, good for them. That's kind of brilliant. Uh, a little bit of a seam can be seen there. Uh, so nothing major, but I want you to know about it. Overall, though, again, I'm going to tell you, this is a darn good-looking car. Really a quality build. Um, you know, after the factory paint or outside of factory paint, Unless you're painting with a computer, you're not going to get a perfect uh, color spray every time. So I think overall, this is a really great job for a build. The chrome are in, chrome's in great shape. This bumper, if I get really picky, let me just see if you can even see it. You, you can't even really see it, but somewhere there, there might be a little bit of a nick. You can't really see it, so I'm trying to point out minutia now. Um, and no value in, in devaluing the car over that. So. Have a look again here now at this car from this angle. That is a sweet ride, man. So 65, Chevy Deuce, Nova, two-door coupe, 383 stroker, 700R transmission, which is awesome news because you can drive it on the highway without fear. Great front end, brand new rear end, nice brakes on it, and a little stereo to boot with bucket seats. Come on down and have a look at this one here for yourself here at MonroeMotors.com. Look forward to seeing you real soon.